my little boy was younger, so I had a small child, and I started to notice like some intermittent pain in my right like upper arm area, and it would come and go over time it kind of turned into like a lump. And once I noticed that, I realized it was time to get it checked out. I was biopsied and then my doctor called me and told me that it was a desmoid tumor. Desmoid tumors are not malignant, which means that they're not the type that usually spread throughout the body, but they're tumors that are locally destructive. Desmoid tumors are in this kind of gray zone. They're not benign tumors in that uh, they don't just sit there and not cause any symptoms. They grow and they cause a lot of inflammation. And it usually occurs in younger patients, mostly women. So it's between ages of 20 and 45. It's usually very debilitating. And uh, they can occur anywhere in the body. Not infrequently we'll see that the tumor affects women that sometimes it's growing, especially around the time of pregnancy. Treatment options that they're offered generally start and stop with uh, surgery or, or chemotherapy or radiation, which are kind of the standard menu that we all started with a decade ago when we were first working on this. Thanks to our efforts and the efforts of other uh, institutions like ours, the guidelines have changed for desmoid tumors. My oncologist determined based on like the size and the location of my desmoid tumor that I'm a candidate for cryoablation. Cryoablation is a treatment option where they freeze the tissue to stop the growth. The advantages of, of cryoablation are, are a fewfold. One is that the recovery is very fast. Unlike a surgery, which has its place, cryoablation is not associated with taking any piece of your body out. And we take probes and they're gently placed through your skin into the tumor. You get freezing at the tips of the probes and it freezes the tumor. It can be applied over and over again. If the first treatment doesn't get the entirety of the tumor or if the, the tumor is too large to be treated in a single session, that's not really a problem with cryoablation. It's actually a same day procedure. You come in, you go to sleep, we do the procedure, and you go home that same day, at least in most cases. For many, many years, um, patients who had desmoid tumors were told not to get pregnant because of the growth that we see during pregnancy in these desmoid tumors. But nowadays, with these newer uh, methods that we have with cryoablation, we don't have to worry about that, and patients don't have to be exposed to long-term side effects of chemotherapy. It's so reassuring when you have doctors that know about your rare disease. Not only do they know about it, but they're like basically trailblazing the treatment for it. Stanford Medicine is a very large referral center for desmoids because we do have this multidisciplinary group that takes care of cases uh, one by one for patients. In each case, we're trying to utilize the tools that we have to both care for the patient, treat the tumor, and try to minimize some of the side effects that they may face or they have faced. There are a lot of problems that people have faced by the time they get to see us. It's really gratifying, I think, for us to be able to bring these tools to bear Since I've had my treatment, like, I feel like I'm getting my body back. Having a desmoid tumor can feel isolating. And since my first appointment with Stanford Medicine, I've felt safe and supported, and that I'm, I'm not on this journey alone.